Sacrificing cute and cuddly little creatures, resource harvesting, slaughtering some demons, and base building demonic rituals, and cooking. What more is there to wish for in this cuddly demonic cult survival roguelike? <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Cult of the Lamb. I thought of giving this game a try because it looks absolutely amazing. Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one who waits below. Yet sacrificial beast, take heed, for a crown cannot sit upon two brows. Oh, aren't we cute? Hey guys, let me tell you what I've planned here. But first we need to make our way up the screen. Yeah, you little shit. Don't wanna go. Once in a while I wanna try out some new games. And that may be in a less edited way. Because no matter what, I wanted to play a little bit Cult of the Lamb. And I thought I might share my experience with you guys. This, if it ever makes it to a series, will be more of the slower kind of video. With more pauses and less cuts. So if you actually watch through this, let me know what you think. And whether I should finish up the next episodes. Or just play the game to the end. And present it in a more condensed, interesting way. Uh, look at how sad I am. Kneel to be sacrificed. What happens if I go to the dude here? Hey dude. Yeah, yeah. Before us stands the last of its kind, all others we have hunted down and put to the blade. With this final sacrifice the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity. And the old faith shall be preserved. And now I'm crying. You made me cry, you dipshit. Okay, as it seems we are in some heavenish hellscape. Maybe let's walk towards the scary looking dude at the end. <laughs> okay, we arrived at two cat dudes and a giant chained cat as well. The one who waits, come closer, fear not. For though you are already dead, I still have need of you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death. But instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask of you, to start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Devil's Pact. Okay. Now we got a sweet crown with the eye. Cult of the Lamb. Sweet, that's me. Oh, I can move. And I can dodge roll. There you go, you little dipshits. Mwah. Oh, forgot about you. <laughs> Dodge to avoid damage. You don't say. Okay, we can choose the next room. Interesting. Oh, can I kill the birds? Who are you? Ratao. Fear not, I am Ratao. I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. Why don't you follow you little... Okay. Can I... <laughs> I will destroy your home. I destroyed a fire. That's okay. Classic. Beds in a cave. Why not? Yay, money! One currency, one coin. Oh, sweet! Where's the lamb? What do we have? Crus could you not? Crusader blade. Moderate damage, okay. Something locked. Our cape? No bonuses. And we don't have a cult. Okay, let's go back. What is this? Some kind of mine? Just so you know, I normally don't play this roguelite, so if I am bad, that's because I'm bad. It seems that for now destroying all of this vegetation does not have any effect at all. Hey, it's another chest. Oh, 
the coin, yay. In this game it seems you can go in different directions and plan your route like you wanted to. These look like they are going to explode at any second. So after we finish them up, let's check out the other room. By the way, I'm trying to not button mash here, but to only hit them when it's really needed. So what do we have here to the left? Okay, I think I forgot a room on the top left. Let's check this out again. Stop the game! While fighting, I haven't even noticed all the skeletons in the background. Super nice. What cool room might await us here? No enemies. Until they fall from the ceiling, of course. Ah, okay. When I hit with the sword, I can't move. I either move, roll, yeah, or I hit with the sword. So I have to time this. Let me quickly teleport us back to the last room and walk us through the suspicious looking portal. Alright, next room. That's how this works. Ah, it's our Tao again. We've nearly reached safety, but look ahead, another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them and they will have no choice but to join our new cult. Almighty bishops of the old faith, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Faith, who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on sacred ground. Me? It's not that hard to understand. I mean, I'm literally right here, you little knife swinging, rope wearing bastards. Could you be so friendly and maybe not revive other weird creatures? <laughs> Poor bunny. Rescue. <laughs> this doesn't look like a rescue. This looks like I'm sucking you to hell. Follower awaits indoctrination. Question mark. You again. Couldn't you have taken me with you? We have reached safety. You have done well. The red crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distances. It will take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. There you will be able to begin your new cult. I will meet you there. Okay then. I think we need to step on the pentagram. Teleporting down. Heretics defeated. Cleanse the non-believers. <laughs> uh, 33 killed. A few four rooms, I guess. One dude gained and seven coins. There we are. Sweet. That's oh come on. Please select difficulty. Easy, medium, hard, and extra hard. Well, I totally suck at those games. You can change it any time in the settings. Okay, now let's let's start with the medium. Okay, here's the dude. Hey, dude. Ratao. This hallowed ground, which once was mine, is now yours. This crumbling ruin is to be the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin indoctrinating the poor soul into a warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. <laughs> that's, a, that's a brilliant, brilliant way to come into life here. Chalamba, please spare me. I will think about it. Hetrebe. Let's check the forms here. Very fitting. Because we do have a new patron called Feral Kitten. So feral kitten, welcome. Um, we have the kitten here. The color will be, how about some purplish kitten. Different variants. No, I take the cute one. And you have different traits. Your traits are your materialistic, gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. Your gullible, 15% easier to level up and faceless, slower devotion generation. Welcome to my cult. Oh. Mana, mana, mana. <laughs> collect stone, because the first thing you have to do in such games is collect wood, and I'm gonna do that myself. Rotao again, could you just stop with the dialogue, bro? By your hand, our cult will grow powerful, but your followers cannot live on prayers alone. 
they must eat, gather the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. Collect lumber, collect stone. Sorry tree. Wait, can I just hold this? Yep, you can just hold the button and then chop wood. What is this? Oh, this is stone. Okay. So just press on stuff and you get stuff. We have the lumber and we have the stone. So follower, did you do anything at all? Where's my stuff? Haven't I sent you to work? Give me a command. Yeah, collect stone, you little. Okay. Here is the stuff. Build. Okay. Cooking fire. Why not? So, okay. This is not um, controlled by the mouse. This is controlled with WASD. Okay. You know what? Not like this. First, we need to make a little bit of more space for our lovely cult. Cult colony. I have to watch out not to call them dupes. <laughs> oh, pick berries. Oh, of course. Classic Age of Empires 2. Why are they so much slower than me? Okay, this should be enough space. Are you done yet? Stop. Stop. Just... Okay. There we go. Now, let's build this again. Cooking... Uh, here. I can flip this. Ooh. Sweet. And I still need to build it. Okay. Your followers need to eat. And it's up to you to provide meals for them. Ah, okay. WASD. The hunger of your cult can be seen on the top left of the screen. When this gets too low, followers will begin to starve. Find more food while crusading. Pick routes that can path through foraging locations. Plant farms to grow your own food. Seeds can be purchased or found whilst crusading. Purchased from whom? Cook the meal. Well, if you ask me so nicely. I can make a basic berry bowl. Simple meal made from berries. 15% of a follower pooping instantly. <laughs> Why not? So okay. Okay, I just have to click when it's green. And then it lands on the floor. Retell. Now we must build a shrine. But first, we will need more followers and more gold. Both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the old faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the old faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to their realms. It is your task to track them down and slay them, so that he may be freed. Now go, they shall find gold and willing recruits. And for those who are not willing, convert them by force. That sounds like fun, let's convert a few people, or critter, or animals. Next up I checked if there's anything else that I can build, but there wasn't. And then I went over to Feral Kitten and checked what the other button does. Make demands of your follower. Sleep. Eat. Sleep until tomorrow, search something to eat, okay? Hmm. I have the feeling the game wants to tell me that I should go in the green door for some reason. Here the godly blood was spilled. Here the death no longer a wish to wait. Oh, tiny spider. <laughs> Cute. I can't use my sword here, so... That's why I couldn't kill the spiders. Uh, we require nine followers. One follower. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's so awesome. Just disappears into the floor. Dark wood. Okay, green one, door to the left, dark wood. And it appears that I have three hearts and 
should use this sword that I'm already familiar with. There you go. Okay, training dummies and something to read. Yay, reading. Entering the lands of the Bishop Leshy. Those who do not follow the way of the old faith will be destroyed. Yeah. I highly doubt that. I'm the magical lamb that can cut you to the ground, you rope-wearing little shits. Mm hmm, meat. Do I gain resources if I punch stuff here? Grass. Grass. Okay, seems like I only get grass. Some more bats. Oh, I got hit. Yeah, okay. I need to actually check for the enemies. Grass and coins. Let's see if we can actually survive until we reach the boss. Also, if you're still here, guys, I'm very grateful that you let me try out stuff that I can test different games here on the channel. And I really wanted to try out Cult of the Lamb. Technically, I already have three episodes recorded, but I'm honestly not really that happy with this style of presentation. Okay, everything is getting red now. Okay. Creepy dude. Ah, that's the lashy dude we heard so much about. How can this be? You were put to the blade, lamb, as all your friends were, and yet here you stand before me, unrepentant. The crown, his power, could it be? But I'm stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. Turn tail and run. Nope, I'm not gonna do that. Give me those, um, give me those treasure chests that you sometimes drop. Three coins, don't be so stingy. I'm not gonna cut the grass, that's not worth my time. Dirty flooring. Only the finest dirt. Mmm, dirt pump. Just like in oxygen not included. Nice sand tiles. E for accepting. Okay. Wonderful. Um, e. I don't want to go in there. There were there was another room. Give me the give me the stuff. Come on. What is this? Ooh, some pine head. Bro, give me. Pray. <laughs> Praise the Lamb, conduit to the great power, promised liberator of the one who waits below. So the cards showed me once, many lifetimes ago. Or has that yet to be? I have always drawn your cards, Lamb, and yet this is the first. Take these cards, and I will draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. What power? Well, that is both known and unfathomable. The cards they shall decide. And I can decide which card I take. Another heart or when hit down to... Um, I take the heart. And what is this? I can take a look at the unlocked cards. Okay, we have gain a half a heart, a blue heart, 10 chance to deal critical damage and reveal the map and more stuff. You will see that when I draw it. Can I cut your grass? There you go, my dude. Okay, I can either go for the roots or for the... A house. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Only the finest ingredients from across the lands of the old faith. Berries, meat, and berry bush seed. I take the seeds. I think this is good for agricultural development. Can I... Oh, sorry, bro. Don't you dare touch my love. What? That little thing is in love with a giant snail? What happens if I punch you for a while? I'm warning you. Stop it! <laughs> Ooh, now he's angry. <laughs> Sweet! Holy! 
Okay. One, two, three, roll. One, two, three, roll. One, two, three, four, roll. My love's honor goes unavenged, you heartless villain. Just don't hurt us anymore, and then in return I will continue to do business with you. Man, that was dark. Massive monster shrine. Pray to the mighty monster. Yeah, that's probably me. Requires a temple. Can only build once. Um, yeah, you could, could you please be quiet now? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be so cruel to those poor creatures. I feel bad now. Yeah, I get a lot of grass. For s yeah, okay. Is that a, s a squirrel? It bursts into the ground. Yeah, you green little worms, come to me. Yeah, as I told you, I'm not the very best in those dungeon crawling games. What do we have here to the right? We have even more of those bats and green worms. Ah, Pinehead. Uh, negating damage. Receive double the health when healing. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. This looks like some kind of boss fight. Leshy again. You have come far enough, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? I give myself to the cause, almighty leader. By the blood of the great ones, destroy the red crown. Ugh. You got something in your face. Just go for the big one and not the small ones. Okay, I only have one heart left. The feedback on getting hit is like really bad. Don't really notice it. No, now he's cute. Convert. There you go. Shalomba yaka. Please spare me. Convert me to your cult and I will follow your teachings faithfully. Oh, back to hell with you. What is this? Choose a follower form. Or wood. No, I want the, the follower form. Cute. A hedgehog. Smack. Okay. Oh. And just a few coins. Nice. Hmm, one of four. Let's return to our lovely cult. Heretics defeated. Meat, fish? Where did, where did we get fish? <laughs> ah, you again. Rital. What kind of voice did he have? I'm relieved to see you made it safely. And you have not returned alone. You have convinced more to join our faithful flock. Let us indoctrinate this new convert, so that we may continue. <laughs> Little green head. 
Indoctrination. Let's change you up. You will be the hedgehog. Red hedgehog. And we will call you Boot. Welcome Patron Boot to the base. Uh, it's not a base. Welcome to the cult. Your traits are zealous. Ignores the centers when they preach. Strong constitution. Heals faster when sick and faithful. Generates more devotion. You are a very good follower. Welcome to the cult. Oh. Go and mine some rocks. They will either work or worship. Worshipping followers generates devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you require a shrine. Then let's build a shrine. It seems I can only place the shrine here and yeah, nowhere else. Sweet. Praise be, your followers can now worship you. Here's a new follower, assign them to worship at the shrine. Then collect devotion, your followers generate at the shrine to unlock divine inspiration. <laughs> I remember you, you were the tiny little bunny. Convert me to your cult, I will follow your teachings faithfully. Welcome Arale, Arale, welcome to the cult. You are our blue bunny with the cute hair. You have a strong constitution, materialistic and faithful. Go on and worship me. Collect devotion from your shrine. Once you collect enough, you will unlock divine inspiration. The more followers worshiping you at the shrine, the faster they will fill it up. If the shrine is full, they will stop worshiping until it is emptied. Once you have collected divine inspiration, unlock new buildings for your cult through the shrine. I would love to do that. Yay! Receive. Divine inspiration unlocked. Collect divine inspiration. I have a temple. I can build sleeping bags and a farming plot. I need to build this first. Establish a temple to preach sermons and perform rituals. Sounds good. Can I choose the next one? Requires one divine inspiration. Same here. Let's go back. 15 wood. I can help out with that. I want a nice place for the shrine. How about this? Oh, I need to build it. Correct. I'm not doing anything, this is the game. The temple is the center of your cult. From there you will preach sermons and grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fragile minds of your followers. You are responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it falls too low, your followers will descend against you and eventually leave. Your followers are ready to hear your word. Show them that you are their greater leader. Preach a sermon from within your temple. First, if I can unlock this. No, I need divine inspiration for that. Ooh. Temple altar. Perform a sermon, drawing energy from your followers to bolster the power of the red crown. Of course I will do that. I have three lovely followers. We got Arale, Feral Kitten and Boot here. Through the faith of your followers, you grow stronger. Performing sermons will draw power from them and allow you to unlock new abilities, the weapons and curses. Followers with a higher loyalty level will generate more devotion. Therefore, the more followers you have and the more loyal they are, the quicker you will gain new abilities. I accept that. Hearts of the faithful permanently gain half a heart. Nice. Oh, <laughs> they make the same awe noise I did. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> you have already preached today. Okay, so just once a day. Could you stop interrupting me, bro? You are amazing to behold, a natural leader. 
I see why you were chosen. If you are to guide your cult, you will need to declare doctrines so that they might obey you. Return to the land of the old faith and seek out commandment stone fragments, which these you will be able to declare new doctrines. You gave a sermon, plus 10. This is faith, I guess. Let's jump outside and give our follower Arale the task to harvest some stone. And Boot can be the one that worships us. There you go, worship us please. Did you just poo here? Unsanitary conditions at your cult will cause your followers to become sick. If a follower becomes sick, assign him to a bed rest. Or they could die. Okay, that's a little bit harsh, don't you think? Resting will allow them to slowly recover. Poop, <laughs> vomit and dead bodies cause illnesses to spread quickly throughout your cult. Cleaning messes and burying bodies will prevent the spread of illnesses. Isn't that a waste of a perfectly fine body? I don't agree with your resource wasting. So I think I gather a little bit more resources and check if I can build them something or if I need something else for that. Let's first cook our cult members a meal. Maybe in the future we cook our cult members. And can I eat this? I can't. Okay. Well, at least Boot can stuff their stomach happily. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's it for now. Hey guys, if you can live with this very slow format and accept the heavy cringe factor, then I will be very happy to continue these episodes. If not, then maybe I just play the game for myself and after I'm finished, I will cut together a more interesting version of this. Love you guys and Luma out.